There are too many funders out there who claim that they fund innovation, but only if you already have a three-year impact study to show them. In anti-corruption projects in particular, it's crucial to consider whether your success depends on elite or mass usage. A small number of very engaged users, which generate national press and conversation, may change government more than something which is used more widely, but not at the right level. We really push grantees to build in a learning approach right from the start, so that at least they're starting to collect the data and it's built into their projects from the start. One factor we always measure is whether our funding helps grantees get more funding from others. Many grant applicants don't ask for marketing in their budgets because they don't think funders will fund it. So we now push all our applicants to include at least some marketing budget in what they do. And my biggest hope is that as a community, we can apply the best civic tech thinking to improving philanthropy itself. Too much of your time is wasted searching for funders and trying to navigate their Byzantine and impenetrable application processes. So help me use civic tech to change this. Help us improve the impact of all civic tech by allowing you to concentrate on your work, not just your fundraising. If you're a donor and you're framing a problem as a, uh, you know, a very technical problem, you're looking for silver bullets, you know, magic fixes for things, that's exactly what you're going to get. And th the proposal sounds very kind of tech optimistic. It's going to say, you know, transform the world. Actually, when you talk to them, it's part of a, a very small part of a long term, very politically savvy bit of work. It's not just a quick fix. Donors have a responsibility not to be calling for magic bullets. And I also think that practitioners have a responsibility not to kind of oversell. In a six month, one year, two year project, you're very unlikely to transform governance. Governance is a long term change process. Innovation is a long term change process. So let's be re realistic about the kind of impacts or outcomes that we hope to see. You know, asking the right questions at the right time within the design of an initiative is often more important than having the answers. If you're not entirely sure what you're expecting to achieve, how can you be sure about when you're achieving it? How accessible is evidence? So we can talk about open access, what have you, but also the language in which research is written can have a tendency to be inaccessible to a lot of people. I think we need to be looking at perhaps more realistic theories of change of how research knowledge can then translate into change in practice and in policy. We need to invest more in research communications, in knowledge brokering. You know, if, if you think about open data, right, um, you wouldn't expect the majority of people to engage directly with the data. You're relying on skilled intermediaries to pull out the interesting stuff, to translate that, to contextualize it and communicate it. Practitioners have a responsibility here that, you know, do your homework. You know, engage with the evidence that exists and they expect to be challenged. Every organization thinks that the project that they are leading is the best one, has the best methodology, and the other ones aren't as good for X and X reason. And I found that when you get people together in a workshop setting where they're able to get away from their computers and dedicate three or four hours to say, okay, what are, what's our ultimate goal that we're striving for, and where does it make sense for us to complement each other and to get rid of certain aspects of the work where they're just clearly is duplication. It takes time because people have to fly to the same city and, and have this discussion, but usually I think it's worth it. What is a concrete problem that you're trying to resolve, such as more access to water in this particular county in Kenya, and then working backward? And what are the roles of transpar transparency, participation, accountability in reaching that goal? Those proposals that recognize upfront yes, we know that there are five other organizations doing very similar work, and here's how we collaborate with them, are by far the best ones, and I think that we can do a better job requesting that information in the proposal process. Framing things in a more action researchy, learning focused approach can help you get around some of the kind of potential barriers in, in, in proposal writing. Because you, what you're saying is, we're exploring this question you're not pr promising particular kind of outcomes. Mm -hmm.